Welcome to the Growth Lab Podcast, where we talk about how to get more clients, find new business opportunities, and win more cleaning contracts. I'm your host, Matt Harris, and I run the Growth Lab, a sales and business development consultancy for commercial cleaning businesses. I'm trying to help a thousand cleaning business owners scale to seven figures and document my journey along the way. Now, let's get into it. I've reviewed over 200 cleaning business websites. And the one thing that I've found consistently is that the majority of cleaning business owners do not know how to design a website. So specifically designing a website for lead generation, it's all right just sticking something up on the internet, but if you want your website to convert leads for your business and generate new customers, then there is a formula that I'm gonna lay out in this live that you can follow to design your website accordingly, to capture leads and to increase conversions. So. Why am I doing this? I have reviewed over 200 cleaning business websites. This is what I found that 37% of cleaning businesses didn't even have a website. That is quite significant. I'm going to run through an example of sections as to how you can design your website in this, in this session. So just bear with me and I'll go through it. So yeah, the cleaning day that I found is sorry, 33% of cleaning businesses didn't have a website. So they were relying on Facebook or other means to generate some interesting, to generate some leads. Of the 67% of cleaning business webs, cleaning businesses that did have websites, only 37%, 37% had a call to action. So either encouraging the visitor to request a quote or to book a call. 35% displayed des- testimonials and reviews on the website. Now that's quite important because it increases your search ranking and SEO. 35% also displayed their prices and service descriptions. 32% had a clear offer for their target audience. 32% focused on a specific niche and a big fat zero had any lead magnets on their website. So you can see the schedule here. This is what we're gonna run through. In order to create a website that's gonna be able to generate some leads for you, the first thing you need to do is identify your target market, hone in on your niche, and create a customer avatar. Now, there are a couple of resources that I can direct you to to download a customer avatar template that you can use, but those three specifics are gonna help you sort of hone in as to the messaging that you need to put on your website. It's important because having a website increases the credibility of your business, and it improves your chances of showing up in Google searches, and ultimately, improves your chances of generating leads. So if you've got a targeted and focused website specific to your market and your niche, then that's gonna increase the chances of you being able to generate leads. The cleaning company is one business that I found have nailed this specifically because their focus is on cleaning in the education sector. So they only deal with schools, academies. That is the focus of their cleaning business. So they've got their market and their niche identified. They've got it nailed on. Now, once you've got your market and your niche and your customer avatar sorted out, the next step is actually designing the website. So there's eight elements that I'm gonna go through in this slideshow. And if you want a a live example, I'll be able to see whether I can tie in a link to to my website because I've, I've run through the flow of that quite well. But in these eight steps, the first step is having a clear header. So that means The job of the header is once a visitor lands on your website, the header should encourage them to read the rest of the website. It needs to pass a two second test by answering questions with a clear and concise statement. So the three questions it needs to answer is what does your cleaning business offer? How will it make your customers' lives better? And what's your call to action? Like how do I, how does the customer get this? One cleaning business that I found has done this really well is Dazzle. They have got a, a clear offer. They offer eco and tech led office cleaning. They're, they make their lives better because it's all focused around workplace well being. And their call to action is to get a quote. So you can see the little pink blocks. I know obviously it's not massively clear on the screen right now, but trust me, it's there. If you want a copy of the slides, more than happy to send them over to you. Just drop me here your name in the comments and I can either DM or email them over to you. And the second step is having a clear value proposition. So in this section, you want to explain the benefits to your customer of the service that you provide them. Yeah, so what benefits does your cleaning service offer? 
to complete this section, the easiest way that I found is to list out all your values and the benefits that your cleaning service offers to customers, and then choose the top three or four that are the most compelling. One business that's done this really well is Dazzle. Again, they have chosen four specific value propositions for their eco office cleaning and workspace well-being service, which hit the nail on the head. The third step is you want to present your business as the guide. You want to be the guide to having the solution that your customer is looking for. You want to be known as the business to be able to provide that solution. So to show, to do this, you need to show that you're, you care about your customers' problems and that your cleaning business knows what it needs to do in order to solve that problem. Housekeep, which is a company he's a partner with a long time ago, have done this very well. They've identified housework that works, and obviously they have positioned themselves as the guy to be able to execute on that promise. The fourth step is listing out your pricing choices and service descriptions. And the reason you want to have this is you want to be able to show quite clearly what the customer is able to purchase. And, you know, if you choose to, the price they're able to purchase that at. So if you are going to choose service offerings, I would stick to a max of three service offerings. Um, Scrubs is a website. They provide deep cleaning services. I've done this very well. They've shown their deep cleaning service, end of tenancy cleaning service, and after builders cleaning services, the service descriptions. So that was, that was done really well. Step five is you want to show the customer how they're able to transact with you. So how does your cleaning service work? This section, you should provide a simple three-step process, which shows how easy it is to do business with your cleaning business. And each, each step in the three-step process should be accompanied with a statement that describes the benefit of each step to the customer. Again, Housekeep have done this really well. Um, you know, they've set out that you just need to type in your email address, um, download the app, and then you're able to book your cleaning online, completely hassle-free and frictionless. So that's really good. Step six, you want to have an explainer section. Now, this section of the website is offering a more in-depth explanation of what your, uh, what your cleaning service provides to clients and also deals with some common frequently asked questions. So to think about creating this section, you need to ask yourself, you know, what are the five or six reasons customers would not choose to do business with your cleaning company? And then you need to add statements to overcome those objections. Again, Housekeeper have done this really well. They've handled this in the form of an FAQ. So they've got four or five questions on their website. Um, the common questions that obviously they've identified that clients tend to ask. So they've handled that and it's all, you know, a nice clean interface. So it's easy to find, easy to deal with, easy to read. Step seven, you want to include some social proof. As I mentioned at the top of the episode, quite a lot of cleaning businesses don't have reviews listed or included on their website. So, you know, if you have, if your business collects reviews regularly, then you want to make sure that when people land on your website, you demonstrate those reviews to them, right? You make them aware of the reviews because it shows how good your service is. Also reviews help, as I mentioned, help to increase your SEO, help to optimize your websites. They help to boost your listings on Google, which, you know, if you're ranked high on Google, if you're ranked in the first, on the first page on Google, then it's more likely that you'll be able to generate more leads to convert. So the aim is to get obviously customers to leave your leave your review on Google simply because it's the the biggest platform where people go to search and it will help with your local SEO ranking. So it's important to include reviews on your website. Dazzle again have done this very well, as have Housekeep, but I've used Dazzle as an example. Uh, they've got their reviews straight on the landing page. You can see what their rating is. You can see, see their star rating and how many reviews they've collected. Step eight is capturing an email address. So this is what I mentioned. Zero websites that I had a look at for cleaning businesses had any sort of lead magnet on their website. So a lead magnet generates leads for you. Uh, it's something that captures an email address. So creating a guide or a newsletter 
or an ebook, something which is of value to your target market, to your ideal customer, is a great idea to have as, as a lead magnet on your website. It needs to communicate the value that the customer will get from, from downloading or from subscribing to the newsletter or downloading the ebook. And again, the, the cleaning company, the company I mentioned at the start of this episode, is the only business that I found out of about 300 websites that I've had a look at that had a lead generator. They, they ask you to subscribe to the mailing list. So they have a pop-up that comes on their website after you've been on there for about five seconds. And that's a way to capture email addresses. And once you have an email address, you can organize a drip campaign. You can get in regular contact. You can email visitors with offers that you have. And that just gradually nurtures them into your customer value ladder and your sales funnel and eventually you know it increases the opportunity of you turning them into a lead and converting them into a sale thanks to you guys for listening to the growth lab podcast you can access the show notes and resources via the link in the episode description and if you got some value from this podcast please pay it forward and share it with others across social media or leave a rating and review on whatever podcast platform you listen to hope you enjoy and subscribe and i'll see you next time